want to be able to stroke the ball like that? Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Master Instructor Anthony Beeler, and thanks again for watching my YouTube channel. Over the past few weeks, we've added almost 3,000 new subscribers to the channel. Our goal is 10,000 subscribers, so let's keep working towards that in the weeks ahead. Once we get to 10,000 subscribers, then we're going to hold a live instructional event with a giveaway of cues and other instructional materials that are related to the class. So uh, keep watching, be sure to like, and be sure to subscribe, and uh, it'll help support the channel, and it'll keep the content coming. In this video, we're going to look at the 12 steps needed to develop a straight professional pool stroke. I'm going to start off at the very simplest steps and I'm going to work all the way up to the most difficult. If you can master all 12 of the steps outlined, then you will have developed a straight professional caliber stroke. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first step to developing a straight professional caliber pool stroke is the correct alignment. And if you don't think that's true, just look at the snooker players overseas. They take their alignment very seriously. Now, what you'll note is that all the snooker players have their right hip on the shot line if they're right-handed or their left hip on the shot line if they're left-handed. And I like to call that being aligned at the hip. Usually if you're right-handed, your right foot's going to be on the shot line and it's going to be pointed towards that shot line. You don't want your body pointed this way or that way. You want your right foot pointed towards the shot line and you want your left foot up, out, or somewhere in between, but it needs to be pointed towards that shot line as well in a parallel form. It's not pointed directly at the shot line, but it's, it's a parallel. And what this does is it allows my body to have a much more natural alignment. If you're walking down the street, and you're swinging your arms, this is very, very natural for your arms to move this way. It's not very natural for me to stand like this and have to swing my arm this way. That's why we want our feet turned around this way and we want the right foot on the shot line and our left foot somewhere close to parallel to the shot line. One thing we know is true, the snooker players are the straightest shooting players on the planet. And if they use more of a square style stance, you can rest assured that it's because they can get a straighter stroke from that alignment. The next thing I want you to consider is when you go and you get down on the shot to shoot the shot, you need to have your vision center over top of the shaft of the cue. A lot of times we refer to it as the dominant eye just for uh, simplicity's sake, but it's a lot more complicated than that. Everyone should put their true vision center over the shaft of the cue so that they can see straight down the shot line. If you can't see straight, then there's no way that you can stroke your cue straight. So a vision center is very important. Now to find your correct vision center, what you need to do is simply place a piece of chalk on the opposite end of the table and place your cue out in front of you. Now what you want to do is place your cue to the point to where that you can see the chalk and the shaft of your cue in, as a blur. Now once it's a blur, keep your chalk in the center of the blur and start moving your shaft back 
towards you while it's maintained into the center. And if it's still in the center, just keep coming closer and closer and closer. And the point where that it touches your face and it's still in the center is your true vision center. And that's what you're wanting over the shaft of your cue as you're sighting down the shot line. And it's a real simple step. This is really easy to learn. The simplest way to learn this and to follow the correct alignment is just to use your cue as a measuring guide. Hold your cue where you'd normally hold it, pin it to your side, and then just tiptoe up to the cue ball. Right foot is pointed this direction. Left foot is pointed this direction. All I have to do now to get into my stance is move my left foot up. It's still pointed this direction. My vision center is over top of the shaft, and I'm looking down, and I can see the shot line completely 100% straight. The third step to a professionally straight pool stroke is the correct grip. The grip must open on the back swing and close on the forward swing. So it's open, close, open, close. And you need to practice that because if your grip doesn't open and close correctly, there's no way you can deliver your cue in a straight line. So it's very, very important that you're able to do that. Another thing that you can do to deliver a straight stroke is to use what's known as the slip stroke. So when you get down to shoot, it's like you're throwing the cue at the shot. So for example, did you see how the cue went from up here to back here? Let's, I'll show you another one. See the cue slide? And there's no straighter way to deliver a stroke than using the slip stroke. The next element we're going to look at is the pause or transition from the back swing to the forward swing. Imagine you were driving down the interstate at 75 miles an hour. And then, all of a sudden, someone grabbed the gear shift and threw it in reverse. How is that going to feel? Well, your pool stroke is no different. You can't make the cue go back at 70 miles an hour and then throw it in reverse. You should stop. Just like in your automobile, you don't want a jerk. The only way that you can avoid the jerk and make a smooth transition from the back swing to the forward swing is to implement a pause in your stroke. Now the pause just has to be a split second and some instructors endorse the fact that it's just slow back, smooth forward, slow back, smooth forward. It should take around a couple of seconds to go from the back swing to the forward swing. If you're making a stroke quicker than that, then the transition is too rushed and it's not going to be smooth. You can't have a straight pool stroke without a smooth transition. Now what I mean by exaggeration is this. I would set up a shot and I would get down into my stance, take my practice strokes, one, two, three, pull back to the bottom of the ferrule, one, two, one, two, three, four. That one, two is an exaggeration. It's a two second count. During actual play, your pause is just going to be for a second, but we're exaggerating it so that when we're in actual play, we get the results that we're looking for. 
After you've worked on your mechanics, you can check the straightness of your stroke by forming a bridge on the rail and using the rail line as a guide to see visually how straight your stroke is. And you can see here, you can just stroke up and down that line. If your stroke goes out, you'll see that, but it should just go straight on that line. Okay, our next test is the bottle test. And the bottle test has been around for years. You just use a glass bottle or you can use a water bottle or a, a Coke bottle. And all you do is you set it on the pool table and you practice stroking the shaft of your cue in and out of the bottle. Now, uh, if your stroke isn't straight, you'll hear a glass sound. And uh, that just means you need to practice some more on it because your stroke isn't coming straight through. Now, as you get down to practice this, what I want you to think about is, I want you to think about your grip. I want you to concentrate on how your grip feels because your grip has a lot to do with how straight you're coming through the ball. So this is a great drill, not only to focus on how straight your stroke is, but which fingers are actually touching the cue on your grip hand whenever you're coming straight through. Okay, this next drill is essential for developing a straight stroke. On this one, all you do is practice following and drawing the cue ball into the side pockets. And uh, as an example, the follow shot looks just like that. The draw shot looks like this. See if you can make each 10 times in a row. And if you can, your stroke's getting straighter. Okay, the next straightness test is one that's been around for years. You simply set the cue ball on the spot and the goal is to go all the way up and all the way back and the cue ball should come back to your tip. Nick Varner was playing pro snooker player Steve Davis in the World Nine Ball Championships. And Varner informed me that during Davis's 15 minutes of warm up, that he spent his entire 15 minutes shooting this drill. When questioned about why he used his entire 15 minutes of striking the cue ball to the end rail and back to the tip, Davis replied, well, I figure if I can hit the cue ball straight, the rest will take care of itself. No truer words were ever spoken. If you have trouble with that part of the drill, you can always set it at the spot and go from side to side. Whatever your level, spend some time on this drill. It will pay huge dividends. Okay, this is another drill that I want you to work on. It's the long straight end. There's no way you can stop your cue ball dead without a perfectly straight stroke. If there's any flaws in your stroke, your cue ball will be off slightly to the left or to the right. But spend some time with this. See if you can make this one 10 in a row.
Now, if you can make that shot 10 times in a row, then we're back to where we started from. Drill number 12. In this drill, the cue ball and the object ball, again, are four diamonds apart. And on this one, your job is to draw back straight to the end rail. And if you can do this 10 times in a row, your stroke is pretty darn straight. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video on the 12 steps to developing a straight pool stroke. Practice each step and practice them in order. You can't put the cart before the horse. You have to develop the mechanics necessary to deliver a straight stroke first. Once the mechanics are in place, then you can start working on the individual drills. Practice from easy to hard, and eventually you'll reach the level of the long straight in and the long draw shot. Once you can execute these shots in order, and you can do the long straight in and the long draw shot at least five times in a row correctly, you will have developed a very straight pool stroke. Keep working on this, let me know how it's improved your stroke in the comments section. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to like and to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I hope everyone has a wonderful week.
forget. It's one of those classes that can really get you going where you want to go with the game. It's the best online course on pool out there. It's been really cool working with Anthony from home. I've already learned so much. I love the course. It is easy to use and available 24-7, which fits well with my busy schedule. Luckily, I stumbled upon Anthony Bueller's online courses, so I signed up. And within three or four months, my game had improved dramatically. It will definitely improve your game. When I did go back to the regional tournament, finally after seven years, I got first place. They bumped me up to the next division. I went back the following year. I got first place in that division, the first year. I can't say highly enough how much Anthony's courses have helped me and I have no doubt they will help you too. If you do have any questions, he's available on the phone calls. He answers your questions very quickly. Uh, someone asked me about Anthony Biller's Virtual Beer Academy class. Go all the way.